Hey, and welcome back to a repot. I had just gotten finished filming the Pinot Princess, the Wilhelmina Pinot Princess. I was getting ready to put everything up. I said, well, I do want to get into my LC Mini Purple Variation Karula Blue Hawaii 4N Crossed with Self that I received from Brookside Orchids back in May of 22. She's been sitting in this pot for a year now. So she's been in here since January 22nd of 23. It is now February of 2024. All she has done since she's been with me is she, I believe grew this growth, I can't remember, but I know she started this one and then just stalled. And then she's working on this one and it's growing, but it's growing like really slow. I don't see any new roots. So I want to get in this one as well, kind of see what's going on. Depending on what is going on, I will be repotting her in either this pot or depending on the root system, this pot. Because I don't think she has any viable roots in there. And I think this pot is too big for her right now. And I, again, I'm going to reuse the media. I'm going to shake out most of this. Yeah, see, I don't even have to squeeze the pot. Yep, all these roots are gone. Whale, whale, whale. And I had put large bark, like Vandebark, at the bottom to kind of crop to make that pot a little bit shorter in, in height-wise. But that apparently did not work for her. So let me take some of the larger bark out. And because she is not producing any roots, I am also going to use my moss trick that I do. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in just a second. So again, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, follow me on the journey and see if we can save Miss Lady here. Because these roots, well, these right here are kind of firm. Or are they? Well, I'm cracking them, touching them. And let me get right back here. I actually forgot my fiskers. So give me one second here. Cause they're right here. These aren't fiskers. These are actually uh, bonsai clippers, but I like the way that they are. They're, they have a nice sturdiness to them and with the little spring in there. Loving that. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off this piece here that because it's just not, it's not doing anything and most of the roots are going to come off with it once it does. And yay, we do have a nice clean rhizome. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's that nice clean rhizome right there. So that's good. And do I want to, you know what, I'm going to take the chance and we're just going to cut off this one here. It doesn't have anything going on for it at the moment. So we'll just cut that one off as well. And then, well, if I cut any more, she's not going to have much of anything. I'll have to stake this leaf this way or can I up oh, nope we'll just do it like that all right and then cut this old root here that is all nice and dry so once again the roots have failed in the pot and with her new growth she's still not producing roots and she may be one of those that doesn't produce roots until she's done with her growth in that case I may lose her I may be jumping the gun here well we have a root tip here that's trying to activate so we'll leave that one alone and that one is brown that one looks like it's going to activate she let's just clip that one yep we have a nice green it's nice and green in there and let's see that one's nice and firm that one is dry at the tip and then we will put her in and i'm going to put a little bit of moss around the top you guys will see what I'm talking about here in just a few minutes. Finish cleaning her off here. So it looks like she's going to have to go into our little bitty one. If I can get these roots to go in there. Let's see. Yeah, I'll be able to do it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut off this wanky one. Just because that will let her sit better in the pot as well without that, that one there. So, and she just, so it's not... It's not the purple stuff that's causing any issues. It's just, I think my care, I think I jumped the gun putting her in the bigger pot, thinking that all those roots that she went in there with were going to sustain her being a monofoliate. Very, very sad looking lady here. Very sad looking lady. Again, has already had a cow mag for this year. Hopefully that will kick her into gear 
So let me turn this off for a second, go get my cinnamon. I did forget the cinnamon. I wasn't expecting to cut off, well, plant parts. I'll be right back. Actually, it was literally right behind me. I didn't even have to turn off the, the camera. I could have just turned around like I did with the, the cutters. Let's see, where is that? We'll just put that whole little bottom portion in there. And like the Pinot Scary, I just won't water this one. Today, I'll wait and give her a water. Today's just plain water day anyway. Um, all of them got a good CalMag soak last week. And then this week, everybody's just getting plain water. So she can hold off for a minute. And let's see. Put that there. I do have my handy dandy goodies there, which I'm not going to put at the bottom here. I'm actually going to put it around the moss. So it can go ahead and activate earlier. So what we're going to do is I'm going to gently put these roots in here because they're dry. I did not wet the lady before I started this because it, again it was just kind of that I was getting ready to put stuff up and I happened to look over and see her how are we going to do this I don't want to break any any roots so let's I'm just gently moving these roots around so that I'm not breaking anything and that is the idea and since she's a climber I'm going to start her kind of lower in the pot and then as she climbs up I'll add I'll add media in at that time. I'm going to center her because cutting off all those back pieces might trigger, and I say might trigger, some growth. I doubt it. She's, she's kind of on her way out. Hopefully this will rescue her. Oh, I'm so upset about this. Okay, so what I do with the moss, so this is where the new growths are. This is where I want to encourage root growth. So let me put a little bit more bark here so the moss will have something to set on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of pre-dampened moss and I'm just setting it right up under the new growths to help encourage extra humidity in that area. I did this with the, I think it's the Horace Maxima and the Dick Smith Paradise and it took off. Now the idea is to move, excuse me, to move this moss and put bark here so it doesn't, I don't want it to, you know, get all algae-ish. And then I'm just going to fill the rest of this, probably stake her, I don't know if she's going to need it though, with bark on top. I'm going to gently press down on the media remembering that my roots are dry so I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to crack the roots that are inside the pot the few that she went in with and I'm just going to put the larger bark back here in the old growth just so it doesn't stay damp longer and possibly rot that piece out but I think now we should be okay my key word in my sentence there is should with spring kicking in Hopefully, she will get triggered again with a little freshen up. I mean, it has only been a year, so this, this bark isn't that bad. But, and also with the moss in there, maybe that will encourage our two little ladies here to go ahead and kick into high gear and get going. Did I leave? I did leave one of the roots here. This is one of the ones that had the nice little root, root tip activating on it. So hopefully, this is a good time to do it. And you know what I forgot to do? My mycorrhizal fungi. But it's going to be easy enough to add it in because it's just bark on top here. And then there's my little moss. So I will just take it and just go ahead and sprinkle it on the moss. And then we will just cover her back up. And then this way it gets activated because it, it gets activated with the dampness once you wet it. Usually around 72 degrees. I keep my house pretty much at that temperature anyway. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, comment below your predictions on what's going to happen with our little mini purple here. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day.